Good afternoon once again. Welcome back to the Grilling with RVH patio. Today we are repeating a cook that was cooked last time on the old Rectech 680, but this time we're going to cook it on the Masterbuilt 1050. It's Mississippi pot roast. We're going to put it on the smoker for about two and a half hours at 250 degrees. I got some pecan wood both in the hopper and in the ash bin. We're going to put it on there for at 250, as I said, for about two and a half, three hours. Normally I go three hours, but I got started a little late today, had some work I had to get done. So um, it's gonna be on there for about two and a half hours. We'll pull it off. We'll put it in the Instapot for 50 minutes at high pressure. We will do a natural leaf for 30 minutes, and then we will pull it out and shred it. Um, in the Instapot, I'll show you when we get there what we put in the Instapot with it. But as you can see here in the prep video, I put a chuck roast in a pan, covered it with some beef broth, then took some rub. In this particular case, I used the Two Brothers Spice Rub and some cow cover from Cosmos Q. And then I uh, seasoned both sides of the roast with that. And then I took a, a package of ranch dressing and, and sprinkled that on top of it. And then a package of all juice gravy mix sprinkle that on top of it and then a stick of butter on top of that so maybe not the healthiest thing in the world but boy it sure is good when you get it all finished and the best thing is as you'll see here in a few minutes the gravy that comes out of the instapot is absolutely phenomenal not to be missed so recapping we're going to have it on the master built 1050 for about two and a half hours ish we're going to pull it put it in the instapot for 50 minutes high pressure natural release for 30 minutes and then we will pull it out, shred it, and um, go from there. In addition, when we put it in the Instapot, along with all the other ingredients that are already on it, we also put some pepperoncinis, or pepperoncinis, or however you pronounce that stupid word. <laughs> uh, along with the juice, we'll put those in there as well. Really gives it a nice seasoning. So there you have it, Mississippi-style pot roast that we turn into shredded beef. All right, come on back after this. Check out the prep video. Come on back after this, and we will show you the next steps. All right, take care. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell down there so you can get notifications when we do put new content up. It's been kind of sporadic here over the past couple of weeks, but uh, we'll get more up there for you, all right? All right, take care. God bless. We'll see you after this. Okay, so everything's been prepared. We got the roast right here. You can see the stick of butter on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the smoker, 250 degrees for about two and a half, maybe three hours. I'm getting started a little late. So I would normally do three hours on the smoker before it goes in the Instapot, but I may have to cut that to two and a half hours. So we'll see. All right, so on the smoker it goes, right on the bottom right, because it's already sitting in a pan. And we'll let that go ahead and run for two and a half, maybe three hours if we have enough time, and then we'll see what happens from there. All right, take care, come on back. Beef's getting really good and done. Yeah, that's looking good. Yep. All right, got 
those all wrapped up, let them ride some more now. All right, so we've got it done on the smoker. Now it's time for the Instapot. I have the eight quart, I believe it is, Instapot. Had it for several years. It's an outstanding piece of equipment. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing in there. I'm gonna put it in there at 50 minutes on high, natural release, and go from there. Take that off. Okay. I don't know if you can see that real well, but that's incredible. Okay, the trivet's in there. So we're gonna take the roast. Whoo, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Then we're gonna take this juice that's in here and pour it over the top. That's gonna be the stuff that helps seal this. And then Going to take some onions, put some onions over the top, and then our pepperoncinis, throw those over the top, and a little bit of this mild banana pepper juice. Gonna pour over the top. And let's get some of those peppers in there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And you can see that now is looking really good. Looking really good. We're going to go ahead and take the lid, put the lid on. We're going to wipe this up in just a minute. Make sure that's set to sealing. Go to manual. Going to go to 50 minutes. Okay. Manual, high pressure, 50 minutes. I guarantee you that is gonna be phenomenally tender when it comes out. All right, so we're gonna let that get up to temp and let it go for 50 minutes. you can see really nice smoke ring to it really good color and it's just absolutely pull apart tender I gotta have a piece see that coloration right there look at that and that ladies and gentlemen is what you have <laughs>